What's going on ladies and gentlemen, we are back once again and we are finally going to be doing another movie review today. And today we are finally going to be reviewing The Doorman starring Ruby Rose as well as uh, Gene Reno. Now, this movie, again if you haven't seen it, uh, go check it out first of which and then let me know what you guys think about it in the comments. But this movie is uh, pretty action low base. Uh, the only way I know to describe it is your normal action type thriller uh, movie. We have where... Ruby Rose plays as a former military uh, character by the name of Ali. She uh, was in the military. She was over in Romania. Something happened to her while protecting one of her clients. She was in a bad explosion. She was awarded the arm, the award of valor. Uh, one of the very few women to actually receive that award. And she comes back home trying to find work. And her uncle gives her a opportunity to work at a place called the Carrington, which is a hotel, <clears throat> where we do see she does not want to work at the hotel. Uh, she later finds out that her extended family is there, her niece, her nephew, her brother-in-law. And we like there's kind of like why she's not wanting to work there. Uh, but we also find out that she uh, becomes a doorman and she later meets other people. She later finally gets to meet her niece and nephew that have never met her and never really knew a lot about her other than what her sister has told her. And at the very end, at the very middle of the movie, we realize that the doorman that is her boss is in on a heist that he lets all the other uh, people that are in, on this heist in that are trying to steal paintings from a former attendant and when uh ruby rose's character is trying to spend time with her family on easter dinner she gets involved in this and she has to make it out alive and also protect and save her family at the same time now overall i did enjoy this movie uh i do enjoy uh watching ruby rose i think she is a great actress i think that uh this movie really did if, if you enjoyed batwoman uh the first season then i would suggest go ahead and check this out now there was a few times i was on okay she's going kate kane on on, on some of these characters because there's a, there's a scene where she's she's trying to uh go up against this one character and there's two scenes where she basically you know fights uh this one character and then she leaves and then she fights and then she leaves and then she fights and then she leaves and then there's another time where she's trying to plant like a bomb to go up against uh this character and what's really cool is she just kind of disappears in the shadows so it's pretty much like a batwoman feel and i think that's a lot of the reason why i think she took this role was because she literally just got either done while she was doing batwoman or she was doing batwoman while this was going on so Overall, I did enjoy uh, the film. Uh, if anyone could probably describe this. It is pretty much your typical uh, Van Damme slash Steven Seagal slash uh, Scott Atkins type of movie feel. It's not the best movie in the world, but it's a decent movie overall. I did enjoy it. I enjoyed watching it. I find it to be very entertaining. Uh, again, I, I enjoy watching Ruby Rose. Again, I think she's a great actress. Um, I think that you know on another side point that she gets a little bit you know too much bs for her own good but again i i support this movie i find it to be a very entertaining film uh it's one of those i think that it's very interesting to check out and see what can be done in this film to really enjoy it as well as also kind of wonder what's going to happen with uh the fran this franchise i mean because it kind of leaves where uh the movie kind of leaves you like okay you know this happened so what may be next for this character so we don't know exactly what may happen to her in the character but overall like i stated i think the movie was very well done i think it was really interesting very high paced very action-packed very uh much of a thriller so if you guys want something to check out i do recommend you guys go check out this movie uh I don't know. I believe it, it should be on DVD. Uh, I watched it online. So it should be on Vudu or Tubi or even Netflix at some point. So is this a movie you have to see right away? No. Uh, I would suggest you take your time. Don't have to watch it right here, right now. Of course, there's other movies in theaters at this point in time that I'm pretty sure other people, such as myself, would like to see. So it's not a must-see. It is one of those where uh, see it when you can type of thing and just uh, enjoy it 
and not take it too seriously as well as also uh, give it an honest uh, feedback whether you liked it or you disliked it or you hated it or you loved it. Uh, but like I said, overall, I have to give this probably 1 out of 10. I give it a give it a 6. And the reason why I give it a 6 is because I felt like it could be a little bit longer. I felt like the story could have been a little more uh, driven because I felt like with some of the characters were kind of bland. Like I felt like her brother-in-law was a little bland. I also felt that the uh, niece and nephew were too, uh, I'm trying to think of the word. It, it just, it felt a lot of it, some of it was kind of forced. Like, oh, you know, it's, it's your aunt, you know, and, and all of a sudden, you, you, you know, your best friends. And it's like, it felt kind of forced and I didn't really care for that as well. Some of the, I felt like they took a lot of Batwoman from this and again, I like Batwoman, but I did not want to see Batwoman in this uh, particular movie. I wanted to see a brand new character, and I felt like she brought more Batwoman into this character than uh, the actual character itself. So that's probably the main complaints I have with this film. I mean, I'm not going to try to judge it too harshly. Uh, there are probably going to be other reviewers out there that are going to judge, judge this film and probably rip it apart uh, with just... Uh, her performance as well as her in general or the movie or the story or the plot in general so I'm not going to try to do that I think again the movie itself was very entertaining but either way let me know what you guys think about this in the comments again I enjoyed it if you didn't that's cool uh, if you did let me know what you liked about it if you didn't let me know what you disliked about it I, I like to know what your thoughts are about this in the comments down below once again if you guys are new channel I'll see about subscribing as well I'll leave a big fat like on the video I greatly appreciate it as well as also we're getting closer to the holiday season so there's going to be of course more videos as well as also a few other things I got planned for you guys so stay tuned I hope you guys are enjoying the content as well and once again if you're new to the channel, always consider about subscribing, leave a big fat like on the video once again. It helps get the algorithm, as well as also help me out, and I would greatly appreciate it. And also click the notification bell. That way you guys are notified every time I upload a video. And as always, I will see you guys on the very next video in the comment section down below.